to the board, my name is Douglas Ellington, former city employee. Terminated unfairly. How do we appeal to your softer side when you have so many employees coming before you, telling you of the wrongdoing? Let me parallel a story that Mr. Andrew Abelson ran in the post that I personally experienced. Mark Sims, an employee for the city of West Palm Beach ECR plant, had a vehicle accident. He was sent down for drug testing. As a result, he was terminated. Let's work backwards. Mark got his job back. So what happened to the drug test? Mark was placed on probation. In the process, city policy said we are not to discuss employees' drug testing. But under the direction of my then supervisor, Joe Carlini, I was encouraged to call Mr. Sims and encourage him to resign. Mr. Sims protested because he knew he did not get hit illegally on a drug test. How do you explain these things? These aren't fiction. <clears throat> Mark called some administrators in the city, and as a result, he was able to get his job back after speaking to Mr. Cooney. The SEIU did not represent me and my problems with the city. As I indicated more than one time via email, EEI, I was almost killed in the service of this great city. My family was harassed. A matter of about $2,400 in legal fees in which the city would not hear my grievance. We're not here to fight. We don't have the capacity. We don't have the resources. You said in charge of an agency like a captain said in charge of a plane. The employees are the few. If though the captain gets on the plane without any regards to how much fuel is in that plane. All we can do is appeal to you. We are citizens. I have kids in college, daughter getting ready to go to pharmacy school, by the way. We need to look into and protect us as employees. We appeal to you, please. Thank you. Thank you.